All right, guys, so this is my second fix for a Chrysler 200 with a no crank, no start issue. Apparently, a lot of people have these issues where their car uh, will start sometimes, will not start sometimes, will start sometimes, will not start sometimes, etc., etc. All right, what you guys can do is when you guys do get to start, if it does start, you guys can get it to an auto zone. Or if you guys can go to Walmart, buy a battery tester. Okay, put up your hood. Test out the battery. See if the battery has any issues. See if the battery is drained. Apparently, Chrysler, Chrysler, whatever batteries they use, seem to have issues with the cells in the battery going dead. All right, a lot of people have complained that they take it to the Chrysler dealership and the Chrysler dealership changes out the battery. A lot of these batteries, most of these batteries should last anywhere from three, four, five years. But apparently there is an issue with the batteries that come with Chrysler's, particularly the 200s. All right. So if you did not have that oil issue that I went, that I talked about in my first video you should definitely get a battery tester or if you guys can drive it to an auto uh, an advanced auto or auto zone a place that can actually test out your battery now here's the thing even if it tests out good I have seen cases where where the car still had issues all right now in these with these issues as far as these no crank no start issues you you know obviously you want the cheapest option before you start spending a ton of money to do repairs on on a car that is notorious for having no crank no start issues if you guys know anything about these cars they might look great but apparently they don't have the best durability they are 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 they don't have the best reliability as far as uh, no start issues concerned and a bunch of other issues. All right. So this is the second fix you guys can try is even if the battery, uh, a lot of times your car is still under warranty. So you could probably drive it to the dealership and have them swap out the battery. Now, if, if it's not under warranty, you know, it, that's probably, you know, you know, out of all the options that you have to try to fix it, you could probably just go to Walmart, buy a $50 battery, pop it in, and see if it fixes your problem. A lot of times, these problems will get fixed with these Chrysler cars by changing out the battery. Alright, this is my second video on this.